<laughs> Drew Star. Good morning. Good morning. Team captain of the Golden Knights. Everybody knows her probably by now. And uh, what's going on? We are we are supposed to jump today. Again, yeah, well, right? we we were all suited up for for round eight, so we're through seven rounds of the XP Summer Classic. It's been a been a pretty good meet so far. Uh, a fun a fun sequence coming up for for round eight. So we got to go to sleep on that uh, last night and and got geared up, and the clouds moved in just in time to to go on a weather hold. So we're still still sitting on a what could be a semi fast jump. And it's a Golden Knights. Uh, four-way team not the eight-way yeah and it's a very special <laughs> Golden Knights four-way lineup introduce it please it is yeah um so we we decided last minute the eight-way and the vfs events weren't going to work out for us so we decided last minute to put together just kind of a composite uh four-way team so uh, obviously matt and jen were you know were a, a perfect fit for that uh and jesse Stoller from the vfs team joined us um, and then we also brought over reese pendleton uh, from the vfs team so it was a great opportunity to uh, merge the two teams together. Um, we've been side by side in training, and you know we feel like a big, a 15-person family instead of two teams. Um, so it was a great event for us to come together and have some fun in a in a competitive environment. Yeah, and with with the Matt and Jen, you have already four, earlier four-way experiences. With Jesse, eight-way experiences. So. Jesse is uh, back, coming back from from the dark side. Yeah, yeah. It's another. We always seem to find little ways to have these yeah. little mini family reunions with Jesse. We always yeah. we always kind of keep sucking them back in. And there's more special part because let's talk about Matt. <laughs> You're losing him now. Incredible news, isn't it? Incredible yeah. news. Yeah. So uh, you know we uh, you know we found out uh, you know the airspeed had had called Matt and, and tapped him to bring him over. Uh, and we're just so, so excited about that news. We, we couldn't be, you know, more proud uh, of, of Matt and his abilities and, and what he's gonna bring to Airspeed and, and uh, you know, the, the relationship that they're gonna form. We think it's just, we think it's fantastic. We're so excited for him. Yeah, I was so I was so amazed um, about yesterday. Um, we talked about this. Your reactions were just oh, we are so happy for him, and so you know I would think oh, you know he is my best horse in this table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing him now, and no, it's the opposite. You know, you're really yeah, happy. For yeah, him. well, I mean, and it's the the timing really couldn't have been better. You know, Matt is set to retire from the army um, at the end of July. Um, so, you know, we were kind of slowly phasing them out of the, the eight-way program just so we could get some of the, the new guys trained back up. Um, but to know that his competitive skydiving career doesn't end with the Golden Knights, uh, I don't think you could write a better story than that, you know. It's amazing story, yeah. I, it's a long story too, beginning in 96 or whenever. So yeah. We, we get to that, but we have a good story here with you too because there are not really too many people in the business who are four consecutive uh, <laughs> world champion you know i don't know you're so you're doing your thing so quietly that um, it hardly catches anybody's attention but yeah. you're one of the most successful um, formation skydiving competitors in history well well thank you thank you i, I don't i've never thought of myself that way and and i got there uh, in, in kind of a roundabout way to um, you know i started behind the camera in 2010 mm -hmm. uh, under bk's team uh, so my, my actually my first meet as a Golden Knight, my first my first meet as on the Golden Knight eight way team was at the 2010 World Meet in Menzelinsk. Um, so and we all we all know how how history played out there. Uh, but yeah, so my first one was was behind the camera. Uh, my second one was as the alternate in 2014. Uh, 12 or 14? Uh, 14. Yeah. What was in 12? 12 was Dubai. I was the videographer. Oh, you was you on camera? I was. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was the videographer in 2012 for for our first win, um, and I was set to go into slot in 2013, um, but the army deployed me to Afghanistan uh, for that for that training season. Uh, so by the time I came home at the end of 2013, the the lineup had been set for the world meet. Um, we had a new videographer. Um, and they, they offered me the videographer job back for the world meet, but he had worked really hard and he had earned earned the position. Um, and so I didn't want to take him out of an active role. So um, I got a bunch of jumps as the alternate. I got some really good training. Um, so you to, were the alternate. I, well, I was the alternate, yeah, for, for 2014. Um, and then in 2006, the, the 15 training year, I went into slot for the, uh, the 16 and 18 world meets. 
and he won 16 18. Yeah, 16, 16 was a really good year. We still had Kurt, um, really, really strong team. Um, and, and 18, you know, we faced a strong threat from, from the Russians. Uh, and that was, that was a kind of an edgy year for us. We didn't know, you know, with Craig over there coaching and those guys are so talented, <laughs> you know, you can never, never count them out. They're, they're really good competitors and, and they're really hard men. Um, so it was exciting to, to go to the world meet in Australia and, and, and win gold for the United States. And then they threw you in the captain's slot at the most <laughs> challenging and most difficult time. <laughs> it is, I mean, it is. It's, uh, you know, so Sean and I, uh, in the 2018 training season, did a really, a really good job of um, starting to shift. And I got a lot of great mentorship from Sean. So uh, I became the assistant captain in 2018. And as the year went on, we really just kind of, uh, I started to take a little more from them, you know, uh, and, and Sean allowed himself to step back and, and let me gain some some leadership experience there and, and he coached me along the way um, along with BK and Matt and, and a lot of the old guys you know the support network for the Golden Knights is, is really great um, so I didn't feel like I came into the 2019 training season untested um, but it's it's definitely uh, it's been terrifying and rewarding <laughs> all at the same time right because now you've got to you've got to work this rebuild um, and so it's it's tough to go back from you know a 22, sometimes 23 average team and, and start fresh, but it's also been just one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. And it's it's not over yet. So how much can you tell us? If we've only talked four way and eight way history so far. How much how much can you tell us about eight way presence right now with the Golden Knights? Well, uh, you know we we brought over a bunch of great great soldiers, great athletes. Um, they're really invested. In the in the program and they're really good teammates they're, they're eager to learn um, you know they're studying we almost can't give them enough information you know they're always asking for more um, with it being the first year you know we're kind of <laughs> oh, no. all right we had an accident here <laughs> let's see if it's still running um, still, still got a good screen then cracked it and the video is running soon, no correction. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna hold it now. It's uh, getting a little bit windy here, I guess. So sorry that I cannot sit here comfortably anymore. But we can continue with the story. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, where do we leave off? Um, um, with no, the current situation. Yeah, so yeah. it's, it's uh, you know, we're still early in the year. We're still kind of building the standard. Um, you know, we're, we're really trying hard to uh, really dial down and, and lock into fundamentals. Small things in eight way like like setups and grip sequences and pictures and keys, um, just so that as we start to build speed, those good habits are are really ingrained. So the guys are doing very well. You know, I'm I'm really proud of them. I'm, I'm excited. I kind of feel like maybe this is what BK felt like in in 2009 and 10. Uh, I'm excited to see mm -hmm. you know just how far we can we can grow together. Yeah. Although he could, BK in 2009, he could go back and bring in his four-way team you now that he had. So he, he was in a pretty high experience level already, at least with a bunch of guys yeah. in the team. Well, I mean, we're lucky in the fact, too, that the, the guys who left the eight-way team didn't leave the Army. They didn't leave the Golden Knights. Um, you know, they're serving in various support roles on, on the Golden Knights. So mm -hmm. we still have the ability to bring them back as coaches um, and gain some outside perspective. Um, and we still have, you know, uh, Jen Davidson and, and Dave Flynn, who are eight-way world champions, that are that are taking up a, a good portion of the, the coaching job too. So we, like I said, we always we have a great support network on the Golden Knights. Mm -hmm. um, whether you're still on the team or you've left the team, you know, we still stay a family. Now there is uh, the elephant in the room, though, that we haven't talked about, which is the giant XB8 elephant, and uh, you have to deal with him this year, you know, to continue your streak um, yeah. somehow, you know, to go to world meets, um, you have to win the nationals. Now we saw you with the new lineup at the Paraclete indoor event, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it looked really good, I have to say. You know, it, it looked uh, for the sh short amount of time that you had, it, it looked already great. But you were still miles behind yeah. XP8 at that time. How is it developing? Well, and, and I think I think the reason it looked so good was was a testament to uh, how hungry you know the the new the new guys that we brought on are. They they really want it. Um, you know, we we face probably the same difficulties that every team faces when they transition from from the tunnel to the sky. 
Um, and, and XP is going to be, I mean, they're, they're going to be a juggernaut for sure. You know, um, so we're kind of going into this feeling like the underdogs, which we haven't felt like in, in a long time. And, and I think it's good for us. I think it makes us, you know, work a little bit harder and, and, and dig a little bit deeper. Uh, and so we're just going to train as hard as we can for as long as we can. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens after round 10 in September. And it was uh, it was indoor competition at Parkheat, obviously. So outdoor competition is always a different uh, scenario. We haven't really seen much yet, except for what XB8 had last year mm -hmm. um, at the nationals. So you are you jumping a lot already by now, or is it still slow and it's more indoor? Uh, no, no, it's it's definitely we're, our primary focus is outdoor. Um, we try and jump as much as we can just to you know get some of the setup pictures and. Uh, you know, in the good habits and block technique, because it is different from the tunnel. You know, the tunnel forces things to yes. be small, uh, and that's one of the things I think the, the 16 and 18 teams were really good at was keeping things small in the sky um, and taking a lot of tunnel habits, you know, from the tunnel to to the sky to make things efficient. So we're learning how to do that. You know, as a as a new team, uh, take some of the efficiency from the tunnel and and uh, just kind of working through the the issues that that naturally happen in the sky until we can you know build a little more experience well drew <laughs> good luck <laughs> with everything well thank you <laughs> and, and and i appreciate you having me on i think this is actually my first one-on-one -on -one nsl talk was it so, all yeah, right I might, I might beer. Be, I might beer for this one. Yep. we'll do that later <laughs> perfect well, good luck with everything and thank you very much for taking the time and being such great sports you well, know it's you. always a pleasure to speak with you thank you